Pretty good? Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Good. Give me a woo if you eat pussy. <laughs> Take it off God, guys. Okay. Not as many fans as I was hoping for here tonight. Okay. Um, well, I, I really like the word pussy, uh, but it's not really comfortable in my mouth. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not, not like dick. Dick's very comfortable in my mouth. Uh, still finding my way with pussy. Uh, how, how do you say pussy? <laughs> Foreign varietals here. What? Foreign. Okay, I recently heard that like in Croatian it's bitchka, which <laughs> I thought was pretty cool. Um, but a guy, a guy recently asked me why uh, my pussy tastes the same before and after sex. <laughs> no, that didn't happen. <laughs> no, he asked me why my pussy tastes the same before and after a shower. And I was like, babe, don't you know? Cats are self cleaning. <laughs> Just like pussies. Mm -hmm. uh, except, yeah, this, this pussy can't lick itself, so please don't stop helping. <laughs> but, but seriously, some people actually think we need to clean up inside our vaginas. And like, okay, we all clean our teeth, but no one owns a throat brush. Right? Yeah. Okay, well, did you guys hear how Gwyneth Paltrow was uh, encouraging women to steam clean their vaginas? Did anyone hear about that? Yes. Okay, for those who didn't, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow has a blog, um, which is terrifyingly successful. And uh, she called it goop. She called it goop. Um, like, you know, like, like, ooh, what's that goop on my thigh? Is <laughs> <laughs> it sneeze? Or is it... <laughs> but, but Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow says that goop doesn't have a meaning, and it was the only word, the only name she could think of using her initials GP. And like for a blog that touches on women's health, like, what about gape? <laughs> but uh, if she did want to capture her body negativity in just one word, I think goop is genius. <laughs> But so uh, so the doctors came out, they were like, no, no, ladies, it's unnecessary, like, don't steam clean your vaginas, um, you know, like, steam, steaming a vagina is about as useful as steaming a fried dumpling. <laughs> it's already good to go. Uh, and it tastes much better if you don't think about what's inside. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it makes me a bit sad for Gwyneth Paltrow uh, that she doesn't realize that it doesn't matter how much she steam cleans her vagina, she's never gonna wash away the shame. <laughs> <laughs> or the goop. <laughs> but uh, okay, what are we gonna, what are we gonna talk about? Um, so every, every day last week I, 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 I woke up from these uh, dreams that I couldn't remember and I just had these two feelings that were lingering. And uh, the first feeling was that I'm Jewish. And the second feeling was that I'm pregnant. And uh, I don't have a joke about that. I just needed to tell someone. <laughs> 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 but I've been thinking. I've been thinking the Jewish thing uh, can maybe be explained by the fact that my mom. My mom did a took a DNA test last year, and it came back that she's part Ashkenazi Jew. Um, and it was a very happy moment for the family because my mom's always wanted to be Jewish. Um, actually, my brother and I used to call her a wannabe Jew, and uh, now we can just call her a Jew. So. <laughs> but uh, in, in her in her extensive Jewish book library, she's even got the book um, How to Raise a Jewish Dog. And, uh, and our German Shepherd's very confused. <laughs> 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 These feelings probably mean one of two things. Like either I'm um, I'm about to like go into labor and uh, actually get a job that pays me, <laughs> or um, or I'm pregnant with the next Messiah. <laughs> and yeah, like if I'm pregnant with the next Messiah, that there's going to be quite a shame of an abortion. <laughs> Messiah, Messiah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not pregnant, guys, don't worry. I was just smoking a lot of hash that week. So. 
that's fine. Um, but I'd like to wrap it up with uh, just quickly. I'm a I'm an independent woman, um, not not as financially in, independent as I'd like, but um, I, I walk home alone at night a lot, and it does make me a bit nervous. Um, but what makes me even more nervous is when I walk home alone at night with a pizza. <laughs> it's like, what kind of psychopath wouldn't enjoy a pizza after raping me? <laughs> All right, you guys have been great. <laughs> Thank you.